It all started in an alley of Isabel Street. 36 of us, young, stubborn, prideful, neglected, abusive, young teenage adults. Not having parents, a mother raising seven kids all by herself, didn't have no support, didn't have the love I was, I was yearning for, and I went out and I got it in the streets. Experiencing rejection by our own families. Society looking down on us with disappointing faces. Worthless to the real world, as they call it. I was fighting a, a, a murder and five attempted murders that I didn't commit myself. As the years went by, some of the 36 met their destination, their destinies to the death of death. Some stuck in the prison dungeons of hell for the rest of their lives. All I can say is thank you for the precious, painful, acceptance, delinquent memories. I would always savor them with dignity. The year was 2004. I was incarcerated again. Once again, I remember I was talking to my daughter at the time, and she was telling me, like, Daddy, where you at? Daddy, where you at? And I remember that point, she, she was already like three years old, so she was able to talk to me now. So when I got to that, at that point, it was like somebody lit a, uh, uh, somebody lit a fire in my, I mean, somebody lit a candle in my heart that kind of made me feel again. And then that's when I started reflecting on everything I've done and how I let my life go to waste. Lost looking for hugs. Lost looking for acceptance. I remember I started connecting with myself, with my inner self, with my soul, and like, I started, it, it, to me it was more like, like I was putting medicine into the wounds I have inside of me. For so long, my kind had been stuck, caged up in these ghettos, looking and waiting for a key of hope to set us free. I hope that a lot of the young, um, young adults or young teenagers um, could see my experience and what I write about that, because a lot of it I, I throw out there is hope and change, right? And I just hope that I'm able to relate a message to them that change is possible and that there is a lot of hope, and that if I could change and if I could do this, then the doors are open to anybody. It's how badly you want it. And the best thing of all, God is smiling. So watch out, because some of us will be at the top. So see you then when I get there. Thank you. Hopefully one day if um, you guys see my book, Agustin Lizama, don't forget that name. Hopefully you guys can get it. <laughs> That's all.